evidence that he had before it. I repeat, much of that evidence is questionable. I, would, I don't think any of it is solid enough to justify policy differences. If it were true, it would be serious, to it would be necessary to look at. But it's also rather absurd when you reflect that it cannot be of a basic significance because we're all Africans. Humanity originates in Africa. Now, whatever has happened over the generations, we are still genetically all Africans. This just silly to me. Yeah. 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 I read that book, The Bell Curve, uh, yeah. which argued that, uh, in very, with a lot of uh, graphs and all sorts of evidence, that you could rank Americans in terms of IQ, Asians at the top, whites in the middle, and blacks at the bottom. But then I, then I saw something which was very intriguing. I don't know whether it was in that book or somewhere else. And that was that those blacks who came from the West Indies had a higher IQ than the American blacks, which had something to do with the fact that they were treated differently. They were liberated much earlier. They were treated much more equally. And this suggests that if there were a differentiation,